Hello my friends and welcome back to another makeup tutorial in my bathroom. Today I want to show you a super easy, no makeup makeup look using only drugstore products. I do have a pretty natural makeup routine up already. It was actually my first YouTube video ever. So some of what I'm going to show you today is a little similar to that, but just a little bit more. Please excuse my very greasy hair. I'm really trying to get out of the habit of washing it every day because I know it's better for your hair to not wash it that often so I've been trying to do every other day now but I just put in some dry shampoo I've been loving the Tresemme dry shampoo that's what I've been using lately and so hopefully it's not too bad since this is a drugstore tutorial I prep my skin using Pond's moisturizer it's my favorite drugstore moisturizer it doesn't have a logo because I peeled it off but using this but under the eye I use my elf hydrating under eye primer it's really great because Sometimes if you put concealer on, you'll get like those little lines after a while where like the concealer starts to crack and instead of having to annoyingly check to blend it, this helps prevent that. I'm going to need a cosmetic sponge. I actually don't use beauty blenders at all. I only use sponges. And I get mine from Studio 35 Beauty. Just they're available at Walgreens. And my Garnier BB Cream. I am obsessed with this. I've tried BB Creams all across the board from super expensive to middle of the line. But this one from Garnier, I think it's like 7 or $8, is amazing. And the best part is, is it has a great sunscreen built in. And they have different types you can get too. I know they have one for oily skin or acne prone skin and that has salicylic acid in it. I don't get that because I'm already treating my acne so I don't want to over treat it. So I just get the one for normal dry skin. And I believe they have an anti-aging one too if you're into that. Can't turn it through the neck so it's all one shade. I love this BB cream because it makes my skin feel just moisturized. I don't feel like I'm caked on makeup. It just lets my skin breathe and I can wear it all day and it won't like crack or like start to flick. It's seriously my go-to BB cream and I love it. You guys like my Stevie Nicks shirt? I got it at the concert. I saw it at Madison Square Garden in December. It was amazing. So I'm wearing my Stevie shirt today. I actually have two drugstore concealers that I recommend. I love e.l.f. has a great concealer that I use on like any acne I have and then I use my Hard Candy Sheer Envy concealer on under my eyes. So I'm just going to take the e.l.f. first and pop it on. This annoying zit that will not go away on my cheek. And then I'm just going to take my concealer and put it under my eyes. Sorry for like using a mirror not very consistently in this video. Sometimes it's easier just to look in my phone to put on the makeup and sometimes it's easier to look in the mirror. This is great because it has a very creamy texture, very soft. I just love the consistency. Since we're keeping it a no makeup natural look, I'm going to skip contouring and just go straight to blush. I love Maybelline's Dream Bounty Blush. I use it all the time. I've used it in several other videos in the shade Rose Petal because it just gives you a very natural looking flush look going to blend it in now so it's just a nice rosy color next for my eyebrows I'm going to use my Maybelline brow drama in the shade soft brown It's the best. It's literally just like mascara for your eyebrows and just gives them a little definition without having to draw anything in. I'm going to be using my Maybelline's Blush News Palette for my eyeshadow and I lost the brush so I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm going to be using this pretty kind of soft orange color. Might need the mirror for this. Now I'm going to try and attempt to curl my eyelashes. If you curl your eyelashes, then you're able to use less mascara and make it look more natural. And it just really helps open up your face. But it's kind of tricky to do, so wish me luck. Let's see if I can do this. Always the scariest part of a makeup routine. Now I'm going to take my mascara. It's from Neutrogena. It's the Healthy Volume Mascara. I love it because it looks really natural. And I get it in the brown shade to look even more like I just have lashes like this all the time. It's got a really good thick brush. I 
I'm going to skip bottom mascara today, just keep it really fresh looking and very natural. Sometimes when I put on bottom mascara, it tends to look too much and it's the mascara is just too obvious. For the lips, I'm just going to use my Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. It's really great, moisturizing. This is in the shade Red Dahlia. And that's it, you guys. This is just a simple, everyday, really natural, kind of no makeup, makeup look that you can do in about, I don't know, probably five minutes. And it's all using drugstore affordable products. So I hope this helped. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave below comments for video ideas and suggestions. I love hearing from you guys. And it makes me just really happy to interact with you all and hear your comments and hear your feedback. And I hope you just take on the first week of March with like self-love and confidence. It's a new month, it's almost spring, like, let's do this, you know? Let's do this. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.